Hey folks, thanks for checking out this ND add-on update video. I'm gonna make this one quick. We just got a couple of small updates and additions in the, the latest version, and I'm just gonna run through them now quickly. So the first thing that's happened is we've gotten rid of the blank sketch operator. Now blank sketch is something that's been in the add-on since the real early days. And I think just as the add-on has grown and as that operator has grown as well, it just became a little bit convoluted, uh, especially given the fact that realistically at the end of the day, all it's doing is creating a single vertex and then later giving you the option to make it manifold. So I've instead split that out now into two separate operators. So we have a single vertex operator and a make manifold operator. So just to give you an example, if we go to the front view here and click on single vertex, it literally does what you'd expect. It gives you a single vertex. So you can use this guy now, immediately start extruding this out and sort of creating uh, a 2D sketch with it. And when you're done, you can go straight into object mode and you know, that's it. You got a profile ready to go. Um, if you do want to make it manifold, basically just jump into edit mode. Um, you, have to, you don't have to have anything selected. It can just be in edit mode, run, make manifold, and you've got the same sort of functionality as blank sketch used to have. But I think it's just a hell of a lot simpler to use now instead of having to open up blank sketch, pause the operator, pin it, and do all the other stuff. It's just much cleaner now, much more simple. So hopefully you guys enjoy that little fix. So... Another thing we've done is under preferences, um, the add-on itself, if you open that up now, uh, we've added uh, basically three new tabs in the preferences. So we've got a general tab, a UI tab, and a key map tab. So under general, we have the utils collection name um, and a new thing here called compatibility mode. So compatibility mode, honestly, is not something you would normally use, but if you want to bring back some of the old operators moving forward um, for a short moment in time um, before they're completely deprecated, you can turn that on and like you'll see here, we can actually bring back the old blank sketch. Uh, keep in mind though, that compatibility mode will only sort of give you deprecated operators um, for sort of the short term, right? So if you wanna follow a slightly older tutorial and you need to use an operator that was used in that, um, you can turn that on, but you know, later versions of the add-on may completely remove deprecated operators, obviously in favor for their sort of newer, fancier, or more appropriate counterparts, you know, such as this example with blank sketch. Uh, just good to know though, if you're wondering if you wanna get that back for some reason, just in the short term. Uh, under UI, we've got overlay DPI and enable quick favorites, which we've covered in previous videos. Uh, but I think the most important one uh, in here now is this key map section. So uh, this is pretty cool. So this will actually give you now an opportunity to quite easily change the default key bindings uh, for the ND add-on instead of having to go to the normal Blender key map, you know, and filtering through trying to find all the here. It's just all in one place, easy to change. And I think uh, the cool thing here as well is for the overlay itself, you can now customize which key uh, pins the overlay and which key pauses the overlay. So you can actually choose from any of the available keys in here if you wanna change, you know, pin or pause respectively. So cool, I mean, that's it. Some really simple updates, but hopefully it'll just make the add-on a little bit more, uh, you know, smooth to use and a bit more customizable going forward. All right, cheers guys.